Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Voss, and we're going to be making a surgical mask together today. This is a video geared towards medical personnel. Doctors and nurses and allied health professionals are getting only one mask a day to see many patients. I want to change that. I want to allow them to have many masks and to be able to sterilize and reuse the masks as well. So we'll be using sterilization wrap as our fabric and we're going to use a pattern that's very fitted to allow air only to be coming in and out of the fabric. Alright, so today we're going to need some heavy duty aluminum foil, about a foot square, some scissors, some clippers, a pen. We're going to be folding the foil into a ribbon that's quite malleable. A pattern which you can find as a link in the description from the video and you'll need a square of the heavy duty sterilization wrap that's about 40 inches by 40 inches. First you're going to want to fold the fabric with this crimp seam longitudinal here. You're going to fit four of these Patterns. So you'll take the pattern and then you'll cut it out, reproduce it four times, and they fit with a straight edge um, along the crimped edge here. And then um, go ahead and use your pen. Don't want to waste any fabric. Okay, so you'll do that. And when you cut it out, you're going to be cutting through all four layers. So this sterilization wrap is double ply. We're going to keep it like that. And when you cut it out, you'll have two pieces of double ply. So there seems to be no outside or inside, so it doesn't matter. You do not pin this material because pinning it will um, change what comes in and out of it. So no pinning. All right, so I'm going to sew pretty close to the edge, maybe a quarter of an inch along this middle seam here. So I'm going to use cotton thread cotton mercenized thread. Um, I'm avoiding polyester thread because I really am worried it will melt in the autoclave. I want to make the barrier a little extra tight where the stitching is, so I'm going to go ahead and, and sew it again. Make sure you kind of pull on it when you sew it around the curve because it's not so easy to, to sew around a curve. I'm going to go close to um, the seam allowance edge here. I don't bother clipping any edges or anything like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be very functional. So this is the top edge and there's the bottom edge. I think the bottom edge you don't even have to finish. Now depending on your neck, if uh, you have a skinny neck, it, a little tiny pleat like this on either side makes it fit really well. But if you have kind of a short chin uh, and not a lot of uh, curvature on your mandible, then uh, just leave it like that. It actually uh, fits quite well without the darts, but if you have a thin face and, uh, and a very acute jawline, then I think a little pleat would be even better. So I'll put one in here. Just a tiny one. Okay, so now we have a very fitted, a fitted, uh, mass 
that goes around your chin. All right, it's about a foot. So you're gonna fold it multiple times and you're gonna keep folding it until really you can't fold it much any anymore. And remember, this is heavy duty aluminum. If you're using regular aluminum, you're gonna have to go double uh, the length. So go for 24 inches and then fold from there. Doesn't have to be beautiful, just has to be functional. There we go. Okay. So find the middle of the aluminum foil. So crimp it there so you know where that is. Now this is the bottom of the mask, this is the top of the mask. So you're gonna end up folding this down one inch in the center, okay? And it'll be a little different as it goes out to the side and that's okay. Um, so you're gonna put that in here and you're gonna... Well, your hands are exactly in the way. So you're gonna do that. I'm gonna sew it right here close to the aluminum um, to keep it there. And then I'm gonna go from the edge and do the whole little sleeve that I make for it. So remember, don't use any pens and use cotton thread. I think it probably will hold up in the autoclave better than polyester thread. If you have Kevlar thread, use that and fresh out. Okay. Now I'm going to trim this band so it retracts underneath the, uh, underneath the cover here. There we go. So it's hidden now. So find the middle of the strap, and we're gonna sew it on just like that. Okay, we are ready for our last strap. So here we go, find about the middle of it. Place it on the outside edge, lining up the outside edges. So it's important to reinforce at the edges where the straps are attached because they're gonna get a lot of stress. And voila, we have a surgical mask. That form fits to your face. You can breathe through it pretty well. It's not heavy, it's not hot, as hot as the cloth ones, which I've tried. And yeah, pretty comfortable. I wouldn't mind wearing this. If I had to wear it all day, I wouldn't mind so much. Happy Sunday!